In a rare case in the history of legal proceedings in the world, Nilambikani, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, I compelled himself at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Monday and played the role of a lawyer with full energy and vibrant command of words with fearless loud voice defended himself with first-to-first -first confrontation with the trial judge, Justice Binta Iyako and the Federal Government Prosecution Counsel, Adebuyega Awabulu. Nilambi Kanu, while confronting the judge, asked Justice Binta Iyako why could she be conducting his trial contrary to the provisions of the laws of Nigeria and international treaties which Nigeria is signatory to. A voice of Justice Binta Iyako could be heard in the video posted online trying to respond to Nilambi Kanu queries about the commanding voice and continuous marshalling of words with historical citation of facts and sections of the laws by Nilambi Kanu suppress the voice of the judge. The video shows Nnambi Kanu speaking at a corridor in front of a mini office inside the courtroom where Justice Binta Nyako was inside listening and tried to respond to the detained Biafra leader's confrontations and allegations of injustice and intimidation. Nnambi Kanu, according to BBC, also confronted the federal government prosecution lawyer, Ademuyega Awamolo, and called him a terrorist. Kanu pointed at FG lawyer, Ademuyega Awamolo, and said in court thus, You are a terrorist. You now get power to try me. Nnambi Kanu actions and reactions began when the trial judge, Justice Binta Nyako denied him bail or refused to grant him house arrest. The court ruling forced Nnambi Kanu to raise his hand and insisted on addressing the court himself. Nnambi Kanu on Monday after the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja dismissed his French bill application for him to be removed from the Department of State Service, DSS, while speaking with news reporters, said that Nigerian court seeking to try him is committing an act of terrorism. Nnambi Kanu condemned Nigerian government for allegedly violating the provisions of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act by seeking to try him. Justice Binta Nyako had on Monday dismissed Kanu's French application seeking the restoration of his revoked bill and his removal from the DSS custody to a house arrest or prison custody. Justice Nyako dismissed the application for lacking in merit and ruled that Kanu had brought the same application before the court. Reacting to the claim that the Supreme Court's ruling in 2023 indicating that Kanu did not jump bail, Justice Nyako said that she found, as a fact, that the Alpha leader jumped the bell granted to him earlier, and that he escaped out of Nigeria. Justice Iyako in her ruling said that the shorties who stood for Kanu in the earlier bell had applied to be discharged, and had been discharged on the ground that they could not locate Kanu and did not know his whereabouts. Justice Binta Iyako stated further that the only option left for Kanu was to go to the Court of Appeal and should proceed to the appellate court to exercise his right of appeal. The judge overruled the claim of Kanu's late counsel that the Supreme Court held that the earlier bill granted him ought not to have been revoked. According to the judge, she has perused the Supreme Court judgment copy and did not see the claim by Kanu's lawyer. Helped by the ruling, Kanu said that Section 2, 3F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act provided that any court seeking to try him was committing an act of terrorism. Kanu insisted that he did not jump bail earlier granted to him and that no Nigerian court could try him. Terrorism Prohibition Act says I cannot be tried in Nigeria. I can never be tried in any court of law in Nigeria. That is what the law says. Anybody coming to try me is a terrorist. That is what the law says. Section 2, 3F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act says that any court trying to try me is committing an act of terrorism. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and come to try that person. It is not done anywhere in the world. That is why there is all these ridiculous delays. The Supreme Court said that I did not jump bell. My home was invaded. They came to kill me and I survived. They came to Kenya to kidnap me, brought me back to this country and seeking to try me, which the law says cannot happen. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and hope to stand on that illegality to conduct a trial. It is not done anywhere in the world, no exception whatsoever. Section 12 of the Constitution, Nigeria, says that any treaty ratified by Nigeria becomes a law. You cannot change it. It doesn't matter what they do. All this shenanigans is just pure rubbish. I believe in fairness and justice. Nami can be stated in court. I'm not this but, but that's what you wrote. You said here, my law, that the defendant has now applied for bail. Now, as I said earlier, bail is a decision of the, of the court taking into consideration all the conditions laid down in, uh, in Muhammad Abacha v. State. At this stage, I am of the opinion that to, make, that to make or take a stand on the bail application without first hearing and determine the issue that is glaring in the, in the face, which is the absence of the defendant from the court since 25th of April 2017 until he was produced on the 29th of June, my lord, which was exactly what the Supreme Court did. They said that he did not jump bail. These criminals came to my house to kill me. That's what the Supreme Court said. This is in your own in your own court, my lord. So I cannot understand, my lord, why my trial will be conducted contrary to the constitution of Nigeria that said I must have free and unfettered access to my to my counsel. It's here. This is the 
Prohibition and Prevention Act says I cannot be tried in Nigeria. That's the law of Nigeria. Yes. I can never be tried in any court of law in Nigeria. That's what the law says. Anybody standing in trial or coming to try me is a terrorist. That's what their law says. As simple as that. Section 2, subsection 3F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act. That's what it says. Any court considered to try me is committed an act of terrorism. Yes. Oh. Very clear. Uh, you cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and then come to try that very person is not done anywhere in the world. Oh. So, so you must be aware of that. Yeah, so yes. that is why there is all these ridiculous delays. That is what Supreme Court said. I did not jump bail. My home was invaded. They came to kill me and I survived. They came to Kenya to kidnap me, brought me back to this country and seeking to try me, which the law says cannot happen. You cannot violate a treaty that Nigeria entered into and then hope to stand on that illegality to conduct a trial is not done anywhere in the world. I have them in my case. Nobody has, there's no exception. No exception whatsoever. That's what the law says. Section 12 of your constitution, what does it say? Any treaty ratified by Nigeria becomes law. It's law. You cannot change it. It doesn't matter what they do. All these shenanigans is just pure rubbish. You never stand. Not with me. Okay. I believe in justice and fairness, that's all. Nigeria is trying to survive, not to ambition. Bring the news in a more digital way.